Hi everyone, I am Aditya and welcome back to the channel. It's 12.30 and we reached Milan. Our bus is parked right in front of this huge castle. This castle was built in 14th century but it was later destroyed by the people as a rebellion against the ruling family and in 1457 it was destroyed and in 1460 again it was constructed by a new ruler. Because of its long history, castle has been used as armory, barracks, residence and it was also ruled by three different empires like Spanish, French and Austrians. It's a huge area and there are multiple entrances and once you enter you will get this complex and the fortress surrounding it. There is also a museum and photo gallery and if you are interested you can purchase the ticket here and you can go inside. As you move along the courtyard you will find some boards which will tell the history about the castle. Poza castle was built as a fortress during the 14th century and during the World War II the castle was severely damaged. The complex now houses the beautiful art gallery, the archaeological museum divided into prehistoric and Egyptian museum various exhibitions, libraries and archives. The complex is one of the most beautiful fortified structures in Italy and one of the largest in Europe. At the end of 15th century, Leonardo da Vinci worked here. After extensive renovation, his celebrated wall painting was opened to public on 500th anniversary of his death. Michelangelo's unfinished last work is also present here. Milan is an easily walkable city. I didn't take any bus or train pass in Milan because the places I wanted to see are less and I can easily manage by walk. I am going to the cathedral now. This is the only Gothic style cathedral in Italy and this is the third highest cathedral in the world after the one which we went yesterday in the Rome. So there are like 5000 statues and two thirds of the statues are outside of the cathedral. I just inquired that uh, we have to purchase the ticket to go inside the church for 7 euros and I had read about it in online it was mentioned free like we can just stand in the queue and go but now I just got to know we have to buy a ticket I stood in the queue for about 20 to 25 minutes and I got the ticket so it is a 7 euro ticket for museum plus cathedral there is even an option to book the tickets online Milan Cathedral is the church dedicated to nativity of St. Mary and is the seat of the Archbishop of Milan. Construction began in 1386 and it took nearly 6 centuries to complete. The final details were completed in 1965. The long succession of architects and engineers at the head of this innovative and original construction site makes it impossible to trace the certain authorship of the project. Thousands of artists, sculptures and specialized workers were involved in the construction of Cathedral of Milan. On each side of the aisle stand rich stained glass windows. Some are original but most has been replaced with a copy of the original. Each stained glass window has a particular history linked to the historical movement and to the artist who created it. The central window depicts the scene of apocalypse while the side windows tell the stories of Old and New Testament. 
There is one more interesting fact which makes this cathedral very important. A small red light bulb in the dome above the apse marks the spot where one of the nails reputedly from the crucifixion of Christ has been placed. The holy nail is retrieved and exposed to public every year on the Saturday closest to September 14. The Archbishop of Milan ascends to the apex in a wooden basket decorated with angels to retrieve the nail. Like many other cathedrals in cities bombed by Allied forces, the Duomo also suffered some damage, although to a lesser degree compared to other major buildings. The roof is open to tourists which allows many a close-up view of some spectacular buildings and you can see the beautiful sunset over the city of Milan. There are many statues on this gothic style cathedral than any other building in the world. There are 3400 statues, 135 gargoyles and 700 figures that decorate Milan Duomo. Currently I am going to the museum. If you want to purchase the ticket for cathedral, it's 6 euro. But for 7 euro you will get cathedral plus the museum. And there are other tickets to go to the dome and there is archaeological site inside the cathedral. If you want you can buy pay extra and go there. Housed inside the royal palace of Milan, the museum preserves artifacts and works of art related to Duomo Cathedral. The strict chronological order of the exposition allows visitors to follow all phases of the cathedral's construction starting from its foundation in 1386 to the 20th century while exploring the work of art gathered there since the late 14th century. This was the main location I wanted to come. There is another church where the last supper painting by Leonardo da Vinci is there. Currently I am going to have some lunch. Some of the people have already gone there. As I took more time in Castle, I did not join them. I highly doubt we'll get the ticket because yesterday night I was checking online and I checked a couple of websites. There the ticket, next ticket available was on September 3rd. So almost after two weeks. The Galleria Vittorio Emanuel II is Italy's oldest active shopping gallery and a major landmark of Milan. And it is named after the first king of kingdom of Italy. The Galleria is the heart of Milan's centre and is close to Dome. The mall is a symbol of Milanese style and wealth. It houses some of the most luxurious boutiques such as Prada, Gucci and Louis Vuitton. Being in Italy for 4 days, I still had not tasted Italian pasta and hence for lunch I went to a local eatery and had an amazing pasta. I had my lunch and currently we are going to a place called Finger. It is near the financial center of Milan where the stock exchange is there. The finger is also called as love. Love is actually an acronym. Translation in English is freedom, hate, enmity and revenge. This is a uh, representation of Roman salute with fingers cut off. I was very surprised to see the most of the streets were empty. I visited Milan on a Sunday, hence not sure if it is because of that. I started going towards the finger and on the way we found a gelato shop. The taste was not as good as it was in Rome. So now we are going to the Santa Maria church. It is about 1.2 kilometers from here and uh, that is where the Last Supper painting is present. We are walking everywhere, but if you want, you can purchase a ticket or bus pass. If you buy a 1.5 euro ticket, that ticket will be valued for 90 minutes. So you can travel anywhere. Holy Mary of Grace is a church and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which contains the Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. During World War II, aerial bombardment hit the church and the convent. Most of the refectory was destroyed but some walls survived, including the one that holds the Last Supper, which had been sandbagged in order to protect it. Several measures have now been implemented to protect the paint from deteriorating. Hence, the tickets are very limited and you have to book online way have it in advance. Currently, we are going back to Cathedral because there is nothing much to see. There are a couple of museums, one Cathedral and a park and there is one graffiti on the walls. It's almost 5 o'clock and we may get some more good pictures because the crowd would have reduced. Once they turn on the lens, the dome would look much more beautiful. So we'll get some pics since it's the last day all of us are tired. 
and then we will go back to the bus stop nearby by the dome there are a lot of shops and if you are interested you can go for shopping after roaming for a while i came back near the dome to get a view of the beautiful sunset and the effect it has on the dome i set up my camera for an amazing time lapse italy is a very beautiful country with lot of history and culture even though i spent only limited time to explore italy i have enjoyed it thoroughly i have tasted the famous italian dishes such as pasta risotto and pizza and i must say it lived up to the hype if i get a chance i will definitely come again and visit rest of the italy especially the dolomites as i was relaxing near the cathedral i saw a local artist singing very nicely and i enjoyed all of his songs here is one of them that is it for now i will just go near the bus stand so thank you for watching the video if you have any queries you can add it in your comment and i'll get back to you if you like the content please subscribe to the channel give a thumbs up and add a comment if you don't like you can still add a comment and tell what you don't like about it thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in croatia in the next coming episodes i will kick off my travel to two beautiful countries croatia and slovenia my first stop is the beautiful lake bled in slovenia on the first day of my trip i head towards the capital of croatia zagreb stay tuned